Okay, so let's take a look at how we would uh, look at question E here, where we want to solve um, for a value in the quadratic equation. The question says, how long after starting the trip would the temperature be 29 degrees? So what we're being asked to solve here is the following. If f of x is equal to 29, um, which is also equal to the equation that we have retrieved from the calculator, which is 0, 0.0. Uh, 015x squared minus 0.3155x plus 36.588. So in this equation, we are um, essentially calculating the value for x given when we want the temperature to be 29. So remember, 29 is on our y-axis. That's what, that's what the f of x would represent. And then x is going to be the, the two values on our parabola. So what's the best way to do this? Okay, an easy solution for this is to just use a graphing method. Um, and I'm going to use a tool which you can find on the web. It's called desmos.com. And it allows you to type in equations like this, which are really cumbersome to deal with, um, with these numbers. And then you can go in and see a high resolution representation of the graph. So I'm gonna switch over to another tool here. Um, this one's the Desmos tool. Okay, this is the one that you will see on the web if you go to desmos.com and you just type in um, go into the desmos.com and open up and start the graphing unit. Um, there is a virtual keyboard um, which you can bring up on your web browser or in, which will look very similar to the one that you see here on the tablet. And what you simply do is just type in the equation that you want to graph. So in this case, our equation is y equals 0.0015x squared. So we have an x and then we have a square function. Then we're going to go minus 0.3155x plus 36.588. Okay, and then just uh, you can just hit the return key here, and then I can hide what this equation is, and it gives me a graph that you can see as a parabola in shape. So what I, what I can do is I can zoom in and out using the plus or the minus keys. But what we want to find here is where is the x value when the y value here is equal to 29. So an easy way to do this, and you can do this with your mouse on the graphing tool, is you just put your mouse and click on the line and it'll highlight the line and then as you, you can click and drag on the line and then you can start to see, it'll calculate where the coordinates are. So what we're seeing is a live representation of X and Y coordinates. So we wanna know where X is equal to 29 or approximately 29. So we can see here that we can get pretty close. I think I had it almost exact there that at 29.04, X is around 27 27.7 was one of our values. And then we can trace to the other side and look for x to be equal to 29. So I'll get it really close here. 29.15, 28.99, right around there. And we get x at about 130, 184, 183.7 around that point. So those would be the two approximate values that you could get from plotting this graph on the Desmos tool. So this is something you can do on the TI calculator. Um, this tool is a little bit more higher resolution and it draws a much nicer graph than what you see on your calculator, um, but it'll also help you find the same answer. Um, and uh, that's uh, one tool I'd encourage you to take a look at and so that you can, you can see how to do this. Um, again, I wouldn't probably do this any other way. Um, you could set this, you could take this equation when it's equal to 29, um, do some of the algebra on it and move the 29 over um, and then use the quadratic formula to solve because you'll know A, B, and then you'll have a, a new calculated value for C. But um, again, it's a little bit cumbersome to work that through and the graphing method is probably the easiest way to do this.